This video is going to be about converting numbers from base 10 to some other base. And in case you missed it, there's a companion video that shows how to convert into base 10 from other bases. So let's look at converting a number. Here I've got the number 223 base 10, and I want to convert it to base 5. And there's two ways to do it. I'll show you both ways. So one way is kind of similar to what we did when we converted from base 5 into base 10. I'm going to write powers of 5. So I'm going to write 5 to the 0, 5 to the 1st, 5 squared, and 5 to the 3rd. And I'll write what those powers equal above each one. So 5 to the 3rd is 125. And 5 squared is 25. 5 to the 1st is 5. And 5 to the 0 power is 1. So now I'm going to take that number 223 and find out how many 5 to the thirds I have. So in other words, I'm going to divide 125, which is 5 to the third, into 223. And it looks like it goes in one time. I want to find out what the remainder is. So the remainder is going to be, it looks like 98. Okay, so I know that in the 5 to the thirds column, I've got a 1. Because 125 went into 223 one time. Now I want to find out how, what I have in the 5 squared column. So I'm going to take that remainder that I had, that 98, and I'm going to divide that by 5 squared. So 5 squared is 25. I'm dividing 98 into that. 25 goes into 98 three times. 3 times 25 is 75. And my remainder is going to be 23. Okay, so since 25 went into 98 three times, that means I've got a 3 in my 5 squared column. I'm going to continue this way. My remainder was 23. So I'm going to take the 23 and find out how many times I can divide 5 into that. That's the next column I have to work with. Well, 5 goes into 23 four times. There's a remainder of 3. So my 5 to the first column, I'll put in the 4. And then I've got that remainder of 3. I want to find out how many times 5 to the 0, or 1, divides into 3. And of course, that's 3. So that means my number in base 5 is going to be 1, 3, 4, 3, base 5. And if we wanted to check this, we could take that 1343, three, multiply the 1 by 125, multiply the 3 by, seven, by 25, multiply the, five, the 4 by 5, multiply the 3 by 1, add all of those together, and we get back to 223. Okay, so that's one way to do this. While we've got this answer here, let me show you another way, and we'll check and make sure we get the same answer. So the other way works like this. We take the base, the new base, which is 5, and we divide that into 223. And 5 goes into 223, let's see, it goes into the 22 part four times, with 2 left over, and then 5 into 23 is also 4, and there's a remainder of 3. So I'm going to write the remainder of 3 off to the left here. And now I'm going to take that 44, which I had, and divide that by 5. Well, 44 divided by 5, that goes in 8 times, and there's a remainder of 4. So I'm going to write that 4 over here to the right, just as I did with the 3. Then I want to divide 5 into the 8. Well, 5 goes into 8 one time, and there's a 3 remainder, which I'll write over to the right here. And now if I look at these numbers, I've got the 1 that I just got, and then working my way around, the 3, the number before the 3 was a 4, these are the remainders, before the 4 I had a 3, so I've got 1, 3, 4, 3, base 5, which is the same number I got working the other way. So this is another way to do it, either way will work. Let's look at a couple more numbers and try them and make sure we can do those. 
Okay, so here's 209 base 10. I want to turn that into base 3. So I'm going to start out writing powers of 3. 3 to the 0, 3 to the 1st, 3 squared, 3 to the 3rd. I'll probably need 3 to the 4th. And those powers are, let's see, 3 to the 4th is 81. 3 to the 3rd is 27. 3 squared is 9. 3 to the 1st is 3 and 3 to the 0 is 1. Now I want to take that 81, the 3 to the 4th, and divide that into 209. So 81 goes into 209. Looks like it should go in two times. 2 times 81 is 162. Oops, I'm doing this wrong. 2. 2 times 81 is 162. And my remainder, which I'm going to need, is 47. So I'll take the 2 that I got and write that in the 3 to the 4th column. And now I want to divide 3 to the 3rd, or 27, into the remainder, which was 47. So 27 goes into 47 one time, and I have a remainder of 20. So that means in the 3 to the 3rd column, I'll just have a 1. I'm going to take that remainder of 20, divide that by 3 squared, which is 9. So 9 into 20 goes 2 times. 2 times 9 is 18. I've got a remainder of 2. So let's see, that's a 2 in the 3 squared column. I've got that remainder of 2. I can't... Now I should be trying to divide 3, 3 to the 1st, into 2, and I can't. So it goes 0 times with a remainder of 2. So in the 3 to the 1 column, I'm going to put in a 0. And I'll take that remainder. I do want to divide that by 1. So obviously that's going to be 2. So it looks like my answer should be 21202. So 209 base 10 should equal 21202. And once again, we could check this by multiplying 2 times 3 to the 4th, or 87, or 81, and 1 times 3 to the 3rd, or 27. Do that for all these numbers, add them up, make sure we get back to 209. But let's try this the other way. Okay, so the other system says do this. Take that 209, and I'm going to divide that by my base, by the new base, which is 3. So 3 goes into 209, let's see, it goes into the 26 times, and it goes, there'll be a 2 left over from that, goes into 29, 9 times, and there's a 2 remainder. I'll write that remainder over to the right. Then I want to divide the 69 by 3. Well, that goes in evenly. That goes in 23 times. My remainder is 0, so I'm just going to write a 0 over here. I want to divide the 3 into the 23 now. That goes in 7 times with a remainder of 2. Divide the 3 into the 7. That goes in 2 times with a remainder of 1. So I'm going to take that 2 that, that we had and then look at my remainders working backwards. I've got 21202, two, two, which is the same number that I got when I used the other method. So it looks like both of these will work. Okay, so that's about it. I hope this helps. These are not that hard to do. It's basically just a matter of getting, better, getting plenty of practice so you don't freeze when you get something like this on a test. Okay, take care. I'll see you next time.